Hello, welcome to The Catch-Up. My name is Damon Blake. Joining me this week is only, but not also, my good co-host, George Fox. George, how are you doing this week? It's me, everybody. The other guy. Uh, I'm good. I'm doing uh, fine. Lockdown is continuing on, but we're here to entertain you and to hang out with each other and have our catch-up. So Damon, I must ask back to you. How are you doing? Well, uh, just to let people know that there wasn't an episode last week because I was uh, taken aside by someone and told that if I kept doing all these things while the rest of my life was happening, I would uh, burn out. And uh, much like a Nazi at the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark, uh, I would disappear into a mass of flesh and goo, uh, but not in a good way. So we skipped last week and this week uh, we are just going to have a nice little quiet episode to tell you what we've been up to and what we got planned. How are you doing, George? I'm doing good. Can I just step back for a minute there just to say you talked about how you were worried that all the stress would have meant up and you would die like one of the Nazis from uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. I want to ask you which one of the mm-hmm. three, because there's three different kind of deaths, I feel. The Nazi guy melts. Uh, one of them definitely just <laughs> just flat out explodes like he was made at the TNT, which is very weird. That like he, his last thought must have been like, "Oh, I explode and the others melt." Rude. Uh, what do you think you would have done? Now that I've rethought about it, I think I'd be more of a Nazi in The Last Crusade. I think I'd be the lady Nazi who, uh, you know, falls into the crevice, but is mm-hmm. wistfully lo- uh, longed after by a father and son who I'd had intimate relations with. <laughs> That's very true. And you know what? I thought to myself, I'm like, I th- when you said that originally, I thought, I think he's thinking of the sexy Irish Nazi lady from the third one. I think... That's much more of a Damon in my head. It's true. You know me very well. Damon's going to go out the way anyone should go out. Like a sexy Nazi meat between a father-son sandwich. Well, you, George, you know that I talk in my sleep. How did you know she was a Nazi? She talks in sleep. I just wouldn't be a Nazi, so I just don't think it would affect me. If the arc opened in front of me, I think it would just be fine. I avoid eye contact at the best of situations, so I think I'd be fine in that scenario. But um, I'm very glad to hear that you're you're taking care of yourself and you're taking time. And I understand that very much when you said it to me, and I'm sure our audience will understand that as well. People are going to have those moments. People are going to have time where they're just like, ugh. It just feels like the simulation is ending. Like a lot of stuff, it's, life is becoming too chaotic. There's the weather here in Ireland is going from super bright and warm to snow the next day. Um, <laughs> politics has run out of characters. Everything needs a massive reboot. And so in the same instance, uh, myself and George, uh, we are having some plans for this show to let you know that it's, a lot of people have said that they want to have longer episodes so the only way for that to facilitate, which doesn't end in my death, is that we're going to make this into an audio podcast uh, in the near future. We've got a so we're going to have basically uh, fun, longer audio episodes uh, so that we can focus on the video content that we want to get to, which uh, this show has been uh, kind of taken away. We love it, but it is it is our problematic child. <laughs> it absolutely is. And people have messaged me and been like, I love the show, but I obviously want to listen to it in the place where it should be listened to most, which is, of course, the shower. It makes me want to th- throw up in my mouth. How dare you? Don't listen to us in the shower when you clean the dirty dirt off your body, you dirty boys. But also, you're free to do what you want, and I can never know. So let that be a secret for yourself. So we have two more... Uh, episodes with comedian friends of ours from the Irish comedy scene who are great people and we're very much look forward to our catch up with them and then there'll be some really fun podcast episodes that we've started recording that you will be able to subscribe to um in the meantime uh myself and George have both gotten VR helmets so we've been mostly not living in this reality we've been living in a in a a virtual space you started messaging me and you were like George I'm in the virtual reality do you want to hang out and I was like no I'm in real reality where it's sad and then you wouldn't let things go until I eventually got a headset so I could hang out with Damon in virtual reality and it has been the most fun. (laughs) It has been a lot of fun, right? Listen, you miserable bastard. You can crack a smile on this podcast and say you enjoyed it. You had fun killing zombies. We're having a great time. Uh, We're shooting zombies. We're watching movies. We're going on theme parks together. Some of us recently snuck into a cinema while they were showing It Follows and then pretended to be the monster and creeped up on everybody, didn't they, George? Didn't they? I didn't don't they know creep who out did a that. Whole bunch I of... have no idea who would do that. <laughs> who would go into a cinema screen and at the scariest point of the movie, you start pointing at people in VR, slowly getting closer and closer. But in any case, uh, we will have uh, some more stuff coming soon. Uh, do check in next week. But as always, 
um, thank you for watching. I uh, hope everybody is staying safe and well and happy and uh, taking their vitamins, which I think is the most important the thing. The most important thing. Uh, oh, are you looking at me? Are you looking at me because you sent me <laughs> vitamins in the post and said, eat have these, you piece of shit, because you'll die otherwise. I wanted your, your meat body to be healthy so that we could spend more time in the electronic world. Great, great. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, everyone, there, if you're expecting this to be an advert for a service where Damon sends you Baraka and vitamin D, I'm sorry, that's not a thing, <laughs> except for this guy. You've heard of sugar daddies? Well, check out vitamin C daddies. <laughs> They're the ones... That'll get you out of bed in the morning and then maybe put you back in it at night. Not a sponsored advert, I should explain. Uh, just a, just a, a fun favor between friends. But thank you for watching today's episode. Thank you for understanding that obviously we're humans as well and we're going to have times where we're going through difficult stuff. And uh, we cannot wait for you to see a lot of the new stuff that we have coming our way in the future. Thank you guys for watching. Please uh, join us next week and we really look forward to having the chats with you again. Absolutely. And we'll catch you guys next week on The Catch Up. <laughs> <laughs>